this exercise is a straight memory. It's only about a couple of hundred yards. The memory is right underneath that wee small sapling, just at the brow. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to send Mia back, but stop her, then send her back with a whistle. I find whistling at the bigger distances is a little better than shouting, get out, get back, get on, how lost. But it's just a couple of pips. The same command I use for get on. So let's see what she does. Mia, get back. Let her think of it. The wind's slightly on my cheek. She's got it. I know it's a lot of people. Big crack to get away the dummy, didn't he? Leave the dog with the dummy. I'm even train it to actually take it. I get it to sit. It'll sit there with the dummy on it. Mia had a wee problem with spitting when she's a younger pup, which you'll notice in other videos. But it was quickly overcome, now she's kind of dummy daft. But anyway, she's been really nice. Dead. That's it. The next thing is the command dead. It does not drop it as soon as your hand gets there, it only does it when you tell it to. Let's get a straight mark. The wind's kind of funny, but anyway, let's go. Give us a straight mark. Mark. Yeah, get out. Yeah, she's on line, but she's not far enough out. Oh, there she goes. Let's try this one. Didn't I take it? Give her with it. Scratch its head, play with its ears, turn beside its cheek. And there! Nope. See? See, she's got to let go because your hand's there, she's just reflection on it. Dead. That's a girl. Anyway, some other things to think, think about when you're doing a memory, using the whistle, and get her to hold. That appears. I'm sitting here.